Okay, so I wanted to show you how to get one of these tiny little micro receivers upgraded with the latest firmware. You need the latest firmware so that you get some D output instead of some H output. So what we've got here is a Gropner MX20, a GR12SH, here we can see it, a 12SH plus. And this is a telemetry receiver. It's very light, very small, and really rather quite nice. So in order to get this updated, now when you get one of these, if you go onto the telemetry menu, which you get to by pressing and holding the escape button, you can go down to the data view and then press set. And on my one, when it first arrived, it was uh, showing me 1.00 there. And when I checked the output on channel 6 on this little board, which is where it's plugged into at the moment, I was getting a different kind of signal output from what we need. So we needed to upgrade it. So anyway, so you go on Gropner's website and their website's a bit of a nightmare trying to find stuff because a lot of it's in German. And you'll find a hot software V4. Once you've installed it somewhere, you'll get a directory that looks like that. The program that you need to use to upgrade it is this micro gyro SW loader. You run it and you get a little program that looks like this. Now to upgrade your receiver you need a CP1202 uh, which exposes uh, a COM port, that's a UART USB. And if you look at it in device manager you should probably see something like that, COM16, right? So COM16 is what I've got selected in the tool here. And then you click this button and then you find the file called micro receiver v1.01 which is on the hop download page and hopefully i might be able to show you it so on their website this is the url up here i'll try and copy and paste that into the link but basically you go to the product page and then on the product page you've got the hot software v4 download link and then on the right hand side up here, you've got the up, update revisions history, which unfortunately is all in German. And if you scroll down here and click 12SH+, you basically see that they've, uh, some D has been, uh, H, some H has been replaced with some D, that's what this means in German. So then you click the tiny little link at the top, that gives you the option to download the file. I've already downloaded that and it's sitting here. So back to the little tool. So you find the file that you just downloaded and you double click it and then you click start. And then that's basically waiting for you to plug in the receiver to your uh, UART adapter. However, it's not just as simple as plugging in a transmit and receive pin and away you go. Because on this little thing, there's obviously no normal serial port. So, to do this, disconnect everything. Now on the back of this, there are listed the five port, six ports, sorry. Okay, to do the programming, it's the fifth port here, port five, which is on the same side as the aerial connector here. Once you get the some H, some D stuff working, that comes out on port 6, but to program it, you need port 5. Right, so wiring. Basically, get yourself one of the little SH adapters, and then connect up the ground and the plus 5 volts, and then the third pin, the signal pin, you connect up to the transmit and receive pins, on your CP1202 or 2102 or whatever the hell it was and bridge the transmit and receive pins together I've got battery warnings and warnings bridge the transmit and receive pins together using two 1k resistors so here you can see the yellow and the green wire are the transmit and receive pins then there's a resistor coming out of each one which then go which are then connected to each other 
and then you can plug in the signal cable coming from the receiver into either the transmit or receive connectors that are left over. It doesn't matter, it's the same signal on both at this point because you've got the resistor connecting the two. Then, while that is still set up over here waiting, you then connect up the cable into the fifth one, which if you remember was on the same side as the uh, antenna. If I can get this the right way around, that would be useful. There we go. These connectors are a bit fiddly. There we go. So that then powers up. And then that will leap into life ideally. But in this particular occurrence it's already upgraded it so it's not doing it again. But we'll do it one more time just to see if something does happen. There. There we go. It detected that time. I think the last time it just didn't detect it. So it's just basically reflashing it with the same firmware. There it goes. And then while it's doing that, the LED has gone out. And after it's finished, it starts blinking like that. So then I'm going to disconnect that. And then plug that into pin 6. There we go. Then the red light there means it's not on. If I turn the transmitter on, which unfortunately the battery is going a bit flat at the moment, the little red light has now gone off indicating that it's connected to a transmitter that it's bound to. And then we should be able to go into the menu and see the version of the software that's now been flashed, which is, as before, 1.01. Can't quite focus on that. There we go. So then you can then page through. And now, on here, it says some D at channel 6. Before, it said some H at channel 6. So we definitely know we've got some D output on here now instead of some H. There we go. Enjoy.